Hi, this is a video of my IoT demo. This is a portfolio piece that I want to demonstrate to people. It's basically, it's a temperature sensor that connects to the internet and then, well, Google Cloud Service, and then you can display the data on a web page. So let's turn it on. So I have the, uh, my mobile phone, um, basically is working as a hotspot to provide uh, the Wi-Fi, which the device uh, connects to, which it has done here, and if I just swap to uh, the web page, we can now see uh, the data coming through. So here is the temperature sensor on right here, and I can actually hold my finger on it to change the values of the data. So now we can see the values actually change between the two, um, and typically I get a uh, a delay of about one to two seconds from the changing of the device um, to uh, being posted or uh, being able to see the update on the web page. Uh, this is also um, Wi-Fi dropout drop-in tolerant so if the Wi-Fi um, doesn't connect you can actually see that appear um, here the SSID will go from green to red meaning it's not connected. Uh, what we have here this little flashing thing is showing that it's uh, sending a message to the cloud service and the, it shows the number of how many bytes are in there, which is important because uh, one of the limitations of the ESP8266 is the amount of data it can send. It doesn't have much memory for the whole um, sending uh, SSL encrypted messages and apparently if you make it too large um, it will cause problems because we run out of memory. So I display that here. When it flashes green it means it was successfully posted uh, to Google's Firebase database. If it's red, that means there's some sort of failure. Um, so, yeah. So now I have, if we go up here, uh, we'll zoom out a little bit. I've posted this now on uh, GitHub. So, uh, the link below. And so we've got the information here uh, for it. Now, I've put a lot of uh, documentation into files and so this is the Arduino script that runs it and we've got loads of info just about how it connects and stuff so if you're not sure about how some of the stuff works perhaps you'll get some hints here um, and basically since this is a, um, a web page basically anything that shows uh, uh, any device that shows has a browser in it has probably got a good chance of showing this page so mobile phone, um, iPad, it's got responsive web on it, so there's a breakpoint of about 600 pixels, which just changes the format here. Um, and what I want to do is that when I, at the next iteration, this is going to handle multiple devices. So uh, to actually have the displaying the temperature from multiple, and then um, if it's in this format here, if it's on a mobile device, having some sort of swipe capability where you swap between the devices um, to see it. Right, so quickly, We'll go back to this. Um, now I'll just switch this off. Oh, oh, not good. Now I'll switch this on. Okay, and so this is the um, another version using the uh, smaller OLED displays. So it's the SSD 1306. So it's a 0.96 uh, inch uh, little display on here. So I will post that um, in the next week or so uh, with the new version. And then so people who want to use that sort of display and haven't before can um, have a look. Uh, so like I say, the next version of this uh, will handle multiple devices. Uh, so we'll have multiple at the same time, but all paste to Firebase, and you can see the temperature change on those different devices at once. Okay, uh, like I say, link below for the GitHub uh, repository from there. Have you enjoyed.